one of the most pleasurable things for me is to talk about mushrooms. I am a passionate mushroom lover and uh, I like to find them, I like to uh, cook them and I like to eat them. This is the porcino, but don't think of one minute that this is a real one because I managed to find the sort of falls which is exactly the copy of what you um, could find in the woods and I usually I do this is not the season so that's why I have this one uh, the season will be around October November <clears throat> but these are fantastic however I have here an array of one two three four five six different fresh mushroom and these are cultivated mushrooms because if you want to have a risotto uh, with mushrooms or pasta with mushrooms all the year through, you can only use this one. However, the um, possibility to give the taste of the porcino is uh, with two things. And uh, this is the dried porcino, which Carruccio sells as well. They are extremely, um, it is this one here, cut in slices and dried. And when it's soaked for a few minutes, in water, then you can use it as a taste in answer of every dish that you do with mushrooms, cultivated mushrooms. Now, we have here a fantastic one, two, three, four, five, six uh, different type of mushrooms that you can, um, I, I hate the word supermarket, but you can find in supermarket. And, uh, and they are valuable because they are cultivated, but they're very good. This is coming from the Far East, the, the Hom Shimeji. This is oyster, um, oyster mushroom. They grow on trees like this. That's just wonderful. Um, they taste all very mushroomy. Then we have the shiitake, the fresh shiitake, which very often you find in Chinese and Japanese dry. So they uh, are regenerated in water and they become the natural size. Then we have two types, three types actually, of the fam same family, which is the butt mushrooms, the white that you know. Then is the brown of the same family, that's another coloration. And this, everybody thinks it's a super mushrooms. It is nothing else but this one here, grown. And they call it Portobello. That's the variation, you know, commercially and so on. Now, when you have mushrooms like this, I heard here in Britain, that uh, you peel them. You never, never peel a mushroom. It's the most uh, silly thing to do because the flavor is there. What you need is, this is incidentally a mushroom knife um, that's also in the shops and it is fantastic. When you pick so the mushroom from the country, then you have a brush here to brush away all the dirt and you shouldn't wash mushroom neither, absolutely forbidden, because they act just like little sponges and they absorb an incredible amount of water and the flavor goes. Now, when you have a mushroom like this, you trim it and to check that one natural in the woods, if they are maggots, because possible, not the cultivated one, they are without maggots. This is fantastic. And the smell is lovely. And you use them sliced as mushroom to do the one of risotto, which I will show you later. But before that, I usually do it with the enoki. It is the very thin one, white, but it's possible to do it with this as well. This, how they grow this. I take a little bunch of that. Look, it's very nice and neatly. And this is how they are growing on a container, you see that uh, the spores, they are uh, sort of disseminated in, into the container and little bunches like that, they grow. Look at this very small one here, that's really beautiful. But what I do, I do this. I take a little bit of palmyre, I envelope it with palmyre, and this is a fantastic thing to do and you can do it for parties and so on. Then we put a few drops of lemons. Very fortunate I have 
from Carluccio, the wonderful lemon oil. This is olive oil with lemon inside. You put just a few drops of this. Oops. And you know what? You pop it to the mouth. Done. Mm. I can chew a little bit, but it's just wonderful. Sorry. I am enjoying it, but you could do as well. For little parties, you know, what to do is you take a little segment of this, so a little bunch, trim a little bit the bottom, palm my hand around, delightful, delicious. You put it in a, a shirt. No salt because the palm is salty. A few drops of lemon. And a little bit of the very good um, olive oil with lemon, which is good for fish and all of that. <coughs> Carluchos. And then you eat it.